Oh, I'm getting called. There we go. All right. Loading into the loading screen, as it were. Uh, this is DominateDominion.com League of Legends Dominion Tournament number 11. Uh, we have Team Bible Black versus Ars Gamers V2. On the top, we have Team Bible Black with High Peoples playing as Ezreal, Rep Permacharge playing as Karma, uh, 1337 Super Noob playing as Yorick, Endera playing as Poppy, and... Jungadard is Malphite, but he oh, is... Oh, that's right, it's Malphite. Not connected not at the connected moment. Not connected yet. And uh, I'm Gander, and casting with me is... Jade and the Broker. And who do we have on the other team on Aus Gamers V2? We have... I don't know which one's V2, but it's I the think bottom it's uh, Pizza Kill Karthus. And we see we have the last solo is Pizza Kill Karthus. Uh, Australia version 2's Jason is almost Prom King of Moomoo, my favorite skin on the Moomoo. I like the robot one, but it's really not that cool. Dick to Souls is Garen, which is a weird pick. I don't see him doing very well. Maybe he'll dominate. We'll see. Um, Sherwood Forest Ash is Jono. Jono. Weird name. And Wukong, being played by Takedown. Flash, flash uh, Exhaust. Should be fun. They all have high pings, and the other team does not. I want to see some, some like, like flash onto the tower ult thing that cool. from Wukong. I want to see that. That would be awesome. I think that'd be a good way to follow up Malphite's ult. Is by it would be. hanging out until Malphite burns his, and then like flash in Wukong ult. I think that'd be a pretty sick play. Or Wukong ult first, and then Malphite ult. Either way, you get them all. As long as you hit them with everything, you're good. Yep. And... Checking out these so items makes, here. We're going. Go yeah. On. What makes York the best bot lane? Amazing sustain. It's absolutely amazing sustain. Uh, he's gets get some uh, get some healing from the ghoul. Camps that health relic. He can harass from a pretty good distance because of the way the ghouls chase. Just absolute monster. Get on his tower. He's got that ult. Keeps himself. You know, he can defend from beyond the grave. Couple that with the fact that he can revive right after that wears off, and it's like he never leaves. It is very, very hard to push a tower from York, and he also has the ability to do that. Uh, I believe his ult is called Omen of Death. There's 500 abilities in the game. I don't know quite all of the names. And his ability to push on towers for the same reason. He's got that, that distant poke with the minion, similar to the way that Karthus has got... Or not Karthus. Malzahar's got poke with the Voidling. He can kind of sit back, let the pet do a little bit of damage, and you know, camp the relic, get a little healing off of it. It's pretty good. Look at the items. It's pretty standard. Uh, we've got, you know, potions, uh, prospector's items, boots, one. Got a couple of catalyst openings for Karthus and for Karma. You've seen those ghosts coming into play right away as they're heading up towards the uh, top of the of the map there. Garen getting there first. And going for a little poke back and forth right now. Let's see how this plays out. Yeah, it's very interesting. We got this Poppy just ran right in to take some damage so the rest of the team could try to uh, get some poke in. Moomoo getting a little bit low on health there. He's going to go on. He's going to flash right on over that wall. An exhaust goes down on Wukong. And, oh, Moomoo comes Wukong's back in down. from behind trying to catch that Ezreal there. But he is going to get taken out. And Addicted Souls goes down afterward. And Janu is the only one left is going to get chased out of the fight. And with no revives, they are not going to be able to contest that point. And it is going to go to Team Bible Black. Blue is going to take the early lead. Yep. Which means nothing. Yeah, Dominion, things can be turned around at any moment. You have always have to be careful of that going down. Down at the bottom here, Karthus and Yorick seem to be a little bit even for the moment. Yorick seems to be building Creep Wave a little bit better than Karthus is. Obviously, Karthus is already, um, you know, he's, he's got that, got that Catalyst roll in there. And... It's going to be a little while, I think, before we see a play down bottom. Mumu poking his head out up near the top end of the map. Looking for a, a spot to make a move at. Wukong goes in for Poppy right there. Oh, wow. Mumu died immediately. Yeah, getting taken down very, very quickly there. And Garen and Wukong are going to back off away from that fight a little bit. That's one thing about Poppy. You can't be get between her and a wall, which in Dominion is really hard because, well, there's walls everywhere. Yep. It is League of Terrain. Poppy's very, very good at terrain. Her and Vayne. Vayne's like a diet, caffeine-free caffeine -free version of Poppy. And, oh, Wukong, he's going to stealth right back on out of there. 
Getting a little too close for his own comfort, maybe. Do you hear? Wow, I love that pulse fire is real skin. Yeah, that's uh pretty awesome. It comes with. Did you hear it say? Yeah, something? it's got like a little vocal readout. Yeah. It's very awesome. Oh, here we go. He's coming bot to to gank Karthus. Go go go! They're gonna get a kill. And Ezreal and Yorick on that point now. Karthus trying to lay as much as he can, but he is going to go down, dying off the point, though. Not going to be able to lay that for as long as he'd like. Wukong comes down to bail that out, but it's still going to go neutral anyway because of minions. Uh, Ezreal and Yorick down there. We got the ult goes down. Uh, is it going to be enough? No, he is going to back oh, on another Wukong. Uh, low on hit points, but Mumu lands that bandage toss, gets that kill off there. Throws down the ultimate. He might get Ezreal. Yes, he will get Ezreal. Yep. Ezreal is dead. And Either way, they still have about a 92-point lead. Yep. The Moomin's going to take that point back. And he's going to lose a lot of points between now and then, though. But here comes y Yorick. Looks like he used Revive. Yeah, and he's not quite going to get there in enough time to interrupt that from happening. But while that was going on, the drill was taken by Team Bible Black. And now Karthus and Garen are being pushed back over towards their summoner platform, but they're going to initiate on Malphite here, and four people on Malphite. Malphite is going to get taken down. Karma is going to have to retreat. And it looks like the drill is going to be secured once again. Oh, Garrison goes down on that to interrupt it. Good play by Karma there, delaying it just a little bit longer, trying to get as little bit extra points up on the scoreboard that they can. While they Looks wait for like it to go Karthus back. and Amumu have changed spots. Yep. Karthus is up towards the top end of the map. Mumu down, hanging out at the bottom, trying to defend that point. Super Noob making a play for it. It's going to take a little bit of damage, but no, he is going to dive for Amumu right here. Got the ghouls out, and you can see them harassing while he is uh, retreating back out of tower range, trying to force him off that point. There's minions on it as well, and it is almost going to go neutral. Minions do push it over to neutral, yeah, and he is able to kill Amumu and begin to secure that point. Karthus is going to head down towards the bottom. There's a ping going off on that point. Looks like they want to go down there and get him off of that, and they aren't going to get there in time to stop that cap. And blue is just... There's really nothing purple can do. Purple, like... You can tell blue's the experienced domination player, domin dominion player. Yep. I mean... They're absolutely running the show right now, getting a neutral off on that quest objective. Garen diving for it, but taking a lot of damage in the process. Might have wanted to wait for his teammates. Throws down exhaust on Malphite, of all people. It's really not terribly consequential. As Malphite and Karma go to push uh, Ash back as Ezreal secures the point. Karthus trying to back cap over at the refinery. Succeeds in getting it neutralized, but Poppy is on the map over in that area to take care of him. The question is, will she kill him? We are going to find out. She did go yep. through that wall. She is going to take that little bit of extra damage, and if she kills Karthus, and, oh, no, she is going to back out. She knows that oh. if she killed Karthus there, she probably would have died on the way out, and, no, nope, Ezreal, that arcane shift, sir, is going to take care of that. Poppy is going to reclaim the point, as the drill looks like it is going to be picked back up for Aus Gamers. There is a True Shop yep. Barrage incoming. Oh, Don't stand in line. They all get interrupted. It's going to delay that just a little bit longer. Keep that four cap rolling a little bit. Get them that extra damage on the enemy nexus. York's just chilling bottom, waiting for somebody to come and take it so he can get some free hits on Yep. Him. And it looks like he has gotten his wish. Ash is trying to stay back to get in some of that damage. And they are going to dive. There goes the ult from Wukong, getting that airborne off right there. But uh, York throws down the ult as well. He really seems absolutely determined to get Ash out of the way. Seems He's going to yep. get Ash. And then he's, he's going to die to Karthus ult. No, nope. he's not. Wow. wow. Barely survives. Wow, look at gets him. that health roll. It gets on out of there. Is going to try and go for Wukong. But no, the stealth goes off. Instead, he's just going to dive for Karthus to try and interrupt and delay a little bit longer. Walks around through that point, and oh, he is going to get taken oh, down wow, by takedown. And that point is going to be reclaimed, but at the same time, oh, they lose the drill. Oh, oh, ooh. That was wow, that very was really narrow. Close. Purple team lost the drill again. They're going to come back and try and take it. It's going to be hard for them, though. Karma's putting that slow on Garen. She is going to eat that silence. Abumu then is going to banish toss right in on her. She is going to be okay, however. Ash taking a bunch of damage, being forced back right away. Poppy slamming Abumu into that wall. He's going to flash. He's going to head back in, but he is going to get picked off by Ezreal before he is able to reach safety. This is only a best of yes, one, right? Yes, it is best of one up until the finals. Finals best of three. That's that's bad for the purple team, because this game is literally almost yep, over. They are, they're going to have to make some serious moves here. 
in the last moments of this game if they're going to turn things around. And with the bottom now being neutraled, on its way to being captured, we might actually see a 5-cap here for Bio Black. Ezreal with the aggressive arcane shift there goes in to help his team take down Garen. And Karthus, the last soloist, literally at the bottom here is... Uh, Solo yep. and dying. A, a RV to Jason is trying to delay a little bit there. Not, not quite able to do too much. Delays the 5-cap for just a couple of seconds. Now they are in a 5-cap situation. Team Bio Black firmly in control of this so far. The Ezreal goes off, or the Ezreal goes off for the ultimate. That's not how that works. Ultimate goes off from Ezreal. I would have saved it. Yeah, I would have saved it. I mean... Karma taking a lot of damage there, getting dived pretty hard. Who might get that neutral off. Oh, there goes down the garrison that is going to save that tower uh, for quite a while. And Yorick really doing some work there, trying to keep that tower alive. Amumu does get the neutral off on the drill, but it is not going to be enough. Aus Gamers V2 loses that game. Team Bible Black is going to be your winner here in their round of 16 game. Only lost 39 points. Only lost 39 points.